everyone, welcome to Electrical Tools and Tips. I'm Josue. Today we're reviewing the DeWalt Gyroscopic Conduit Reamer. Uh, this thing is a pretty cool tool. I won it in a raffle for an electric company I was working for. Uh, I've seen it around here and there, I've seen it online, and at the time I, I don't think I would have ever paid for this thing. I thought it was pretty cool, but for, for the price I was like, ah, I, I got a few reamers and uh, I got. <sighs> Got the one that goes on your drill, so uh, I didn't see much of a difference between the two. You know, this is like twenty bucks or something for the for the reamer bit goes on your drill. But I gotta say, between the two of these, I I really kind of like this conduit reamer. It's uh, a lot smoother. I would definitely buy it now after trying it. Uh, Let's see what's included with this thing. Alright, so you get the uh, conduit reamer, two batteries, and a charger. And these are 8 volt batteries. Now, one thing that kind of sucks, I don't like, is uh, there's not a lot of tools available. And like the the platform for the eight volt tools, uh, you pretty much got two other gyroscopic screwdrivers, and I think a flashlight. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, it'd be cool if they came out with some other stuff. You know, like maybe like a little USB charger or something. I see like Milwaukee's got like for their twelve volt, like everything. They're like you know a little bit bigger than this for the battery, but yeah, that's what you get. All in all, still pretty cool. Well, you get this bag. I don't know if I mention that cool bag pretty good bag um yeah i don't know pretty cool and a lot of people are, are always asking if this part is removable uh the reamer is built onto the to the drill or the screw gun so you, you can't take it off this is what you get you can change out the tips though you got different tips you want to put on like a uh 516 or something or something a little bit longer you could do that but uh as far as the reamer that this big piece here that stays on there all the time uh you, you can however change out the blade once this thing starts to give out but uh it'll be a while for that uh necessary all right so what else can we say about this thing? It's not too heavy. It's pretty good. Pretty good weight. Uh, the way this thing works here, it's kind of weird. If you're not, if you've never used a gyroscopic tool or screwdriver before, you press on the trigger. Just hold it here. See, it's not moving at all. It's just staying there. But, as soon as you turn your wrist to the right or to the left, it's going to turn that direction. And the amount of turn you put on it is the, the speed on it. So let's say I turn it slowly to the right. Slowly going to rotate to the right. And I'm just making like very little increments with my hand. Just slowly turning it, just tilting it. Now if I do it fast, it goes full, full force. And I can, let's see, and I'm holding the trigger here so it looks like that movement will change the speed, you don't have to push the trigger again. That's kind of weird at first, but it's actually really cool, because uh, when you're reaming with it, it's kind of like you're using a regular reamer, but uh, it's got a little more feel for it, like you really feel the movement on this thing. Clean, very clean. That's all it takes. I think that's better than sitting there with a reamer and doing this until it's finally cleaned out and then it's, you still got a bunch of birds on there. You gotta really push on it and really just kind of manhandle that thing until it's clean. Um, this thing here, you just push it in, the 
the teeth will come out and uh, just turn the wrist there you go and of course it is a screw gun so it, you could uh, you put other bits on there use it for uh, panel covers couplings connectors any kind of fittings anything really whatever you can fit on there I, I use it for anything you can even drill holes with it so you got a uh, try drilling a hole in that put a bit on there now, this is one thing that kind of weird and I wish this was like the uh, the other gyroscopic one that kind of folds over so you can hold it like a regular screw gun uh, it doesn't really work as well I mean, you can just push it down for drilling holes but it does it Obviously not the best tool for that, but it can do it. So if, you, if you're in a pinch and you don't want to run back to grab your drill or whatever. Let's see, where's my 516 bit? I don't know what I did with it. Yeah. Alright. Self-tappers. We can do self-tappers on this thing too. Obviously, it take a lot longer than a regular drill to get in there, but you can still do it. So, not recommended for doing self tappers if you gotta do a bunch of them, especially something this thick. But um, yeah, if you gotta do it, it'll do it. It's also got this. Uh, cool LED light on there which you gotta love you know sometimes you're in somewhere that's a little bit dark and you can't see too well whether you reamed it out good or not but you can at least see on your conduit if it came out good it's real good for uh, if you're in a situation where you don't want to use a drill on the fastener but you got a lot of uh, screws or fasteners to put in and you don't you, you don't want to tighten them up too much. This this is pretty good for that. You can really get some good control of your wrist on the torque. Um, yeah, so let's take a look. At some more conduit ring. What this thing is made for. Now this one here, I get a close up of that. I put a picture for you. Um, it's pretty pretty bad. See how well it works, works on it. Very smooth now. It's like it was never cut. Now one thing this is also really good for is building conduit racks. Let's say uh, you're doing prefab even. Let's say you're doing prefab or you're just running a lot of conduit. This is the thing you want. This is the tool you want because it's going to give you a good day for your wrist at the end of the day. Try turning this on a bunch of pipes, reaming over and over again, compared to just slightly turning your wrist, and this is actually doing the work for you. If you got a lot of wrist pain, carpal tunnel, whatever, you're definitely gonna want to invest in this thing. I I know I got cut like a little pain in mind sometimes when I'm reaming all day, but uh, I definitely don't think I'll ever go back to a conventional reamer. I just keep this around now, I guess, because all I paid for it. But honestly, this just sits in the bottom of my tool bag at home. It, I don't use it. If you already have one of these uh, cordless bandsaws, then you definitely want one of these. These things right here, these are like buddies. They're brothers. Best friends. Best buddies. 
You, you gotta have one. You can't have them without. Well, you can't. But you, it's such a great pair. I, if I'm running conduit, I bust these two things out. Anything from half inch to one inch, it's great, and you get a lot of production out of that. Cause you're reaming faster. You're doing fast cuts with this thing. They just work real great together. Let's say you don't want to spend money on this expensive, uh, well, not that expensive, but maybe expensive for you, reamer. Like I said earlier, this thing is still awesome. I used this for a long time before I had the, uh, the uh, conduit reamer. And it still works great. It's definitely better than using a hand reamer still. And if, if you're in a budget, I definitely recommend having one of these. It's a, it's a really great tool. It's made by uh, Klein. Yeah. I'll put a, a link down low for the model number for this one. Oh, model number on this guy right here. If I didn't mention, it's DCF681. It's a DeWalt 8 volt lithium ion. And I'll, I'll leave a link down low for that too, for this guy and uh, pretty much everything we use in this video in case you guys are want to check those out. Definitely recommend that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, give us a like down low. Uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. And check out our website, electricaltoolsandtips.com.